Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Whew, today we're getting into some heavy shit. Meet Shy. <laughs> Hi Shy. What's good? Why are you fucking with my tree? Yeah, that's Shy. That's S H Y. Um, he is my cat, kind of. You know. Uh, long story short, I explained this in another video, but I am co-parenting this kitty with someone else. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about my thoughts on love after heartbreak. As you- oh god, shy! Anyways, today I wanted to talk about my thoughts on love after heartbreak. Oh my goodness. <laughs> on love after heartbreak. Um, as you guys know, I made heartbreak a pretty big part of my channel for a little bit of time. I was going through it, we all know. I was not okay. And it's been a year and a half or so since my breakup. And it's interesting because like, I remember when I used to like notice the day, and be like it's been two months since my breakup, it's been three months since my breakup, it's been four months, you know, like on the day. Um, and I kind of forgot about it. So I just wanted to share where my head is at now in terms of that breakup and my thoughts on love after heartbreak and just like, I don't know, just let's, let's talk, you know? So, heartbreak. It all started for me in 2019. I was not okay. I was a mess. I was crying every day. I was not eating. I was not sleeping. And if I was sleeping, it's because I was heavily medicated. I was depressed. I felt like I wasn't my own person. It hit me hard, you know? I was just always alone in my room with my MacBook and just talking to my camera because I felt like I had no one to talk to anymore. With my little cat at the time, Iko, R.I.P. little Iko. Iko would love Shy. I love Shy. This cat is everything. Um, so, I was just sad as shit, really. And after that, I got back with the ex and then we went through another breakup and then back to square one so as you can see i was going through it i was at a place in my life that i thought i wouldn't come out of and that was really scary um and then you know went through another breakup and another breakup and another break it was like a never ending on and off cycle that's what happens when you're in you know a karmic relationship and eventually we had our final breakup which was april 2022 and things started looking up. By the time November, December rolled around, I was still healing, but felt 80% there, I would say. I dropped that video about, you know, heartbreak and all that. I don't, I don't remember what the video was, but I, I dropped that video and it was very therapeutic for me. That video actually caused the person I was speaking about to reach out to me. And by the time he reached out to me, I was, I was 100% just over it, you know? I didn't I didn't respond. I didn't feel the need to. Um, and, you know, a lot changed after that video. Not the response I received from that video. That didn't change anything for me. At that point, I was already like, you know? Um, but making that video just felt so important to me and so therapeutic. I felt like people who watched it could resonate. Um, I think part of me had a feeling that he would see it and maybe part of me hoped that he would see it. I don't know, maybe. But now I feel like I it's like it's not a part of my life anymore. Before that heartbreak used to kind of like not define me, but I'd, I'd come back to it a lot, you know? Um, now it still comes up if I'm discussing grief or loss or breakups or love, like I'll bring it up to relate to someone, you know? Um, but it's not like a big part of my story anymore. It was, but you go through a breakup and you move on, you know what I mean? That's what happens. So my thoughts on love after heartbreak. Let's get into it. So I believe in love. I still do. I don't think anyone can change that. I think that I'm just, I have so much to give, I guess, which I didn't realize about myself until after the heartbreak and um janae aiko said something in, in a song oh my god was it in lotus i think it was lotus maybe it's not word for word but she implied like your heart had to be broken in order to open 
and bloom like a lotus or whatever. So I think it took my heart breaking to just like bust right open. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, like I just, I feel like that changed something in me. So I'm very grateful for that experience. Um, I'm not jaded by heartbreak. I think that there are moments in which I realize that my previous relationship has caused some triggers for me in new relationships and these relationships don't have to be romantic i mean like even platonic when i step into certain roles i feel a little triggered you know um when certain things happen i feel a little triggered i always feel like people are going to walk away because i went through so many breakups or threats of a breakup with that person that like it does trigger me and affect me when situations present themselves that bring me back to that place mentally or that trigger my nervous system however I don't go into things um, with fear or ready to project or apprehensively, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not afraid to fall in love again. I'm not afraid to fall in love again. Like, I'd rather loved and lost than never have loved at all, as cliche as that sounds. That's where my head is at right now. And I feel like what I went through, if I felt like closing my heart or whatever you want to call it um or just like being more jaded or closed off like i could probably be that way for a little like a bit of time and no one would question it but like that's not the life i want to live i just feel like life is too short to rob yourself of beautiful and amazing experiences because somebody broke your heart i understand why people do that and why people go through that and um i get it i do get it but i just guess that's not me even after, right after the breakup, I still felt like this. Like, I still wanted to love again. I just knew I wasn't, I didn't have the capacity to do so at that time, at all. But, um, I still wanted to love again. I wasn't scared of it. I'm not scared of it. Maybe I'm just very lucky because of the example that my family has set in which both of my parents are happily married. I say both of my parents, like they're not married to each other. My parents are happily married and, um, to each other. <laughs> it's been 30 years and they're like, happily married like it's very strange to witness sometimes i'm like why are you so happy <laughs> um but i'm very grateful so like maybe that's why i don't have like that energy towards love but yeah that's that's my that's where i'm at like that is where i'm at since the heartbreak i always wondered what it'd be like to have feelings for someone again and the first time i had feelings for someone was actually not that long after um months maybe five months after four months after and um i thought they were feelings but they turned out to be more like attraction lust but at first for a good month and a half i thought they were feelings and i was like whoa whoa i like someone again i was like huh like it was kind of exciting you know i was like whoa this is crazy and then I got over it. I was like, I don't like you. I just think you're cute. <laughs> um, but no, no, he was a lot of things. He was a great guy. He's great, nice, funny, like super cool guy. Hope he's doing well. Um, but I realized like, it's not that, you know? And I got excited because I was like, oh my God, I have the capacity to like have feelings for someone again. So that was like the first time. And then um, there's another person that I spent some time with that I didn't have feelings for it all, but I definitely was like really excited to be around them and uh, it was cool, it was a cool feeling. And it felt like a breath of fresh air to be able to, to feel that. Um, anyways, fast forward to, I guess kind of recently. Ooh, hope you don't see this video. If you do, do not bring it up. Let's not talk about it. Um, I did catch feelings for someone else again. And I guess this time it was actual feelings, you know? And um, it's an unattainable, what is it? Unrequited? Unrequited, I don't know. It, unattainable person. <laughs> complicated. But um, not that complicated, honestly. It's just like, don't really feel like exposing myself like crazy on the internet today. And, you know, it was such, it's such a weird situation because it's like, I have these feelings, but I can't do anything about them. So does that mean I have to let this person go and in a weird way I got kind of like excited that I had these feelings again because I was like wow like I really am capable of feeling something for someone again so much fucking cat hair feeling something for someone again and um although it's not this person not this is not gonna be this person 
I know that I'm capable of that. And I know I keep saying that, but like when you go through some shit, like you at first, like I'm sure you think, I don't know if I'll ever be able to like someone again, you know? So it was kind of cool. And then when I realized I, ha I might have to make the decision of like ending the uh, friendship or whatever, um, I got sad. I got sad and I was like, damn, I don't really want to do that, you know? I don't. I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh, Shia looks so cute. Let me take a picture of him. Oh, he's so cute. When I realized I had to make the choice to either continue to spend time with this person in a platonic way and possibly get hurt, hurt myself for putting myself through that, or snip, snip, cut him off, um, I got sad because I was like, damn, kind of losing either way. Um, but. The idea of cutting that person off when I realized that that kind of did make me sad I was like what a beautiful thing it is to be sad about this because when I felt sad about it I was like wow wow I didn't know my mind could go back there um, it was scary to think that my mind could go back there obviously it's different than what I've experienced in the past it's still so early very new feelings but um, I guess there was two things I was feeling about this like sadness one was I've gone through way worse No matter how sad I might feel whether it's mild sadness or whatever like um, I'll get over it, you know I'll, I'll be fine And it was so nice to be able to tell myself that because I've lived it like way worse and I got over it And I was fine. So I was like, whoa, that is reassuring um, but then I was also like Wow, like I actually like I'm able to be sad about something like this again, and I, I knew that I would be But I mean it's like such a different level because like the last time it was like heartbreak You know this one's more just like oh, I like someone. oh it can't work out, you know, like it's just like you move on but um, Yeah, it just it felt really refreshing to be sad about it it did. I was like, whoa, I got feelings still. I got a heart still. I got emotions still. I'm a human, which I knew. Um, I was I was scared that I'd be jaded. I was scared that I'd be closed off because it's been so hard for me to actually like someone. Like, I've spent time with people. I've hung out with people. I've gotten intimate with people. I've, I've you know, gone on dates and not one person would make me excited. And um, it's nice to know that there are going to be many other people that I meet that are gonna get me excited and that I'm gonna want to spend time with and that I'm gonna fall for, have feelings for, get heartbroken by, whatever. And it's just such a beautiful thing to feel. So I hope I feel that again with someone attainable. <laughs> so in summary, my thoughts on love. I am optimistic about it I I don't fear it I don't fear it again I would rather have loved and lost than never have loved at all I really I really would I wouldn't take back an ounce of pain from that breakup I know that sounds crazy because I was going the book through it <laughs> but I wouldn't take it back I wouldn't because it built me the fuck up it, it built me up and I feel like it's gonna take a lot to like tear me back down like that again. If I fall in love with someone, like in love, you know, and I get my heart broken, I can handle it. And I know that now. I'll be sad. I'll cry. I'll probably starve myself for two weeks because I can't eat because I have no appetite. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna go through the motions, you know, but I'm gonna be able to tell myself like I'm gonna be okay and it probably won't take me as long to get over it as the last one did and I'll probably be able to walk away sooner than I did from the last one and I think that having gone through what I went through was just like really just really shaped me into the person I am and made me like what I really think what it all comes down to is like if I was able to love the wrong person that hard and do all these things for the wrong person and be this version of myself for the wrong person like imagine what the fuck i can do for the right one like imagine imagine how hard i can love the right person and how 
how great I can be with the right person for the right person, you know? Like the possibilities are endless, like, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, because like, I have my problems, yeah, but I was a great girlfriend. I was a great girlfriend, and I know that. I didn't know it at the time. I thought it was a shit girlfriend. I thought it was the worst girlfriend on the face of the earth. I didn't even deserve love. That's what I thought. I really believe that because he made me believe it, which is okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, and I am fine. I wasn't, but I am. Uh, I was. I was an amazing partner, and it gets me excited because I'm like, imagine how it'll be for the person who deserves it. That's exciting. Because I've grown so much since then, and I've just like learned so much, and I've, I've, I don't know, I'm just like, it's, I'm like weirdly optimistic about it. And it could happen in five years, it could happen in two years, uh, it could happen in five months, who knows, who knows. But yeah, I guess that's how I feel. Anyways, I just wanted to share my thoughts on love after heartbreak. I hope you can appreciate me opening up to you guys, sharing some clips from my past, which are a little much, but very, very, very real. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on love, whether it's after heartbreak or just in general. I wanna know how you feel about it. Like, are you scared of love? Are you optimistic? Are you excited to love? Like, what? What is your, what's your opinion on it? Um, like the video. It takes a second, a second, but it helps me so much. So like the video, go ahead, like it. Um, <laughs> anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go take a hundred videos of Shy because he looks so fucking cute right now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.